No, the Pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. Uh, a girl had him. She's ten or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Uh, it looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Ader, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Ader, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop too. My wife and kids are there, and I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me? Or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. The people of the bazaar are simple folk. Why would they risk defying you? And that's why I want to discover the truth before the orders come down to use force. Besides, appearances can be deceiving. They want to get rid of us. They think anarchy is the key to building a new world. Well, there is plenty of anarchy these days. Carl is a faux pious hustler who brainwashes others with slick speeches. He says everyone's equal, but it's bullshit. You can't be a leader and an equal at the same time. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. The men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you've found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Reported. Worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Uh, Meet me outside. Through an entire patrol without taking on an infected. These are peacekeeper premises. Follow the rules, or you'll be arrested. Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie. His right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? 
Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. Can't go through the tunnel either. Aiders Who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the Pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up, to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Bad, and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, Free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. 
Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you then? <sighs> a sheep. I'm no threat to you. That's exactly what a wolf would say. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? Well, let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well, but mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. The Carnage Hall tournament is getting closer and closer. Don't make me regret telling you where she is. Yeah, you. Looking for work, by any chance? I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Wow. Respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's a bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners. And it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. Don't keep them waiting. Seriously, there's no time for delay. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place upside down. Aider. I'm listening. That's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal, but maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out. Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? 
because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know, we're careful people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Why are you still here? I'm Aiden. Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So... You're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. Call him in, boys. <clears throat> Die? God, you asshole! You set me up! What? No, no, no! I, I swear, I, I would never! I, I was just doing my job! Scouting! It's my job! Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden! You gotta believe me! Please! They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? God, what have you done, Damien? I didn't know. At first. But I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop! I'm sorry! I had to! I'm trapped! Believe me! They have my brother! Your brother? I talk. Fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured, if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played, and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad, I get it, but look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? <sighs> All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. I've been there already and searched the place. No sign of Cliff. Serious? Ah, oh, shit. You don't think they... He's not dead, is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? That's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. And where did you last see him? We were in East Corian, close to Devil's Bridge, when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since. I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it. But then times changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. 
Now it's full of bandits. And I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge for clues. Hey, you serious? You'd do that for me? <laughs> Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. Uh, maybe... Uh, I I'm sure he's still alive. Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop! Damien sent me! How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. Wait, so you're not... You're working with them, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really want to know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK Commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. Damien? Damien, Aiden here. Do you read me? Over. Did you find Cliff? Yeah, but he... Uh... Hey, bro. You were a huge help sending all those kids. You've made Dr. Waltz mighty happy. What? He's the boss here. Boss? Cliff? What? I, I don't understand. Yeah. They took me, but I joined the team right quick. Had to pretend they were gonna kill me to get you in line and following orders. You did... what? Don't be a baby about it. It was the only way to make you behave. How could you do this to me? To all those kids you made me drag in to their deaths. Don't worry about it, bro. It was all for the greater good. Whose greater good? The bosses, of course. And just now, you served up the guy the boss wanted most. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy. Are you still there? Come in, Damien. God, can you hear me? Ader. Did the lead pan out? Nah, dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? I'll keep digging. What's, what's going on? Where's Damien? He locked himself in the tower. And what's that all about? Beats me. Just started raving about something being all his fault. He was in a bad way. He's not answering his radio. 
He didn't look like he was in a talkative mood. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Damien! Stop or I jump! Wait! Okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? About Cliff. About your brother. What about him? For one, I... I should apologize. For what? What happened to him, Hayden? Well, I... Uh... Look, it's only fair that you know. Know what? That it's my fault. I killed him, not you. Oh, so you want me to jump? Is that it? Rub salt in my wounds? Of course you killed him! Do you think that changes anything? For anyone? It could. Maybe take some of the burden off of you. Nice try, but no, Aiden. No! I brought all of this down on myself. On me, on those poor victims, on my brother, and even you. And maybe I should just live with that, but I don't want to. At least not for very long. Only for about, say, 15 floors. I can handle that. Goodbye, Hayden. About not finding out the hard way that you can't fly. <laughs> Maybe if I weren't such a weakling and a coward, I'd have jumped already. But you didn't. Something is holding you back. Fear. Fear has always held me back. It held me back from refusing those assholes after they took my brother. It held me back from telling those doomed guys to run like hell instead of sending them to their deaths. I won't be held back anymore, Aiden. I won't hold myself back. You ready for this, Aiden? Because if I stop holding myself back, I think I just might be able to fly after all. Check it out! I don't know. About life? Fuck you. That's what you hung up on. That you're alive, and so many aren't now because of you. Damien? I killed them. All of them. Look, man, it was a bad deal all around. You aren't evil. Okay, you were trying to save your brother. They backed you into a corner. But my brother is one person. One person. But I've killed so many. No. Sent them to be killed. You didn't kill them yourself. What choice did you have? Believe me, I've done plenty of bad in the name of good, and then just plain bad. But I'm not an evil person, and neither are you, Damien. I am. I could have found another way. But did I try? I can't close my eyes without seeing the face of every kid. I said, hey, you're new around here, too. They're all dead. And now so is my brother because of me. I can't take it anymore. Sure you can. You can prove how strong you really are. Live your life and use each day to make it right. It's too much to fix. I can't, I, it can never be enough. I'm sorry, Aiden. I have a message from your brother. Wait, what? Before he died, your brother told me something. You waited till now? Tell me! It's not something you yell, Damien. Come over here and let's talk. If this is a trick, Aiden, it's a lousy one and it won't work. I'll be over the side so fast. This isn't a trick. Seriously, he said something to me before. Just come on, will ya? All right, step back. Take it slow, yeah? Talk. Come closer so we can talk for real, man. Talk! Okay, fine. So he said... Your brother Cliff said that... 
that he loved you. And he didn't want you blaming yourself. He took the blame. You were a better person than he ever was, he said. Bullshit. Cliff never talked like that. He was a dick. My brother, but a serious asshole. He said that. He wanted you alive. He didn't want you bearing all this. I swear. Well, there's only one way to find out for sure. I'll have to ask him. But he's dead. Exactly. My dog! Make room. I'm jumping with you. Are you crazy? Why not? We can go together. Now it's one more death added to your tab. Why would you? No, you would never. Try me. Jump. Go on. Jump. I'll be right behind. You ever hear that most jumpers change their minds mid-air? Uh, no. That's true. They're falling and think, oh fuck, maybe this actually wasn't the smartest thing I've done in my life. Soon my head's gonna smash open like a watermelon and I'll writhe around with no control over my arms and legs and beg for someone to finish me off. But nobody's gonna finish you off here, Damien. Except maybe the infected. They'll eat you foot to forehead, Damien. Slowly. I'm going. See you on the ground. Wait! Let's talk. About what? I... I, I don't know. About life? Maybe. Sure. But I guess I don't have a life anymore. All the guys that died, they died because... And quit being a broken wrecker, will ya? You'll get over it. Now pull yourself the fuck together and back away from that ledge. Or you really will fall. You feel bad about those deaths? That's great. It means you got a conscience. There's not many left in this town with a conscience. But you got one. And that's why you should live. To make up for what you did. There will always be time to jump. Tomorrow. Day after. No rush. Look, I won't stop you. But keep this in mind. Like I said before. Make it right. Keep living. At least till you make it right. So, how many deaths do you think you're responsible for? Don't make me say it, Aiden. Eight, maybe. Eight? Even better. Better? Yeah, because now you have to save eight lives. Deal? But... You gotta balance those scales, Damien. Do we have a deal? Deal. Smart move. I better not regret this. You won't. I got a job for you. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> How about that? Damien's got a sense of humor. Gallows humor, I guess. Yeah, it seems appropriate, all things considered. Aiden? Yeah? Thanks. No problem. I saved your life, kid. Now don't fuck it up, okay? Jesus, Damien. What's up with you? Were you about to jump? I was, but Aiden... What's with this? It's all my fault business. Talk to me. Yeah, the people from the bazaar. My brother... Yeah, the people from the bazaar. My brother. All dead. Because of me. The men who took my brother... They forced me, but that's no excuse. I'm disgusting. I didn't want to live anymore. Oh, you'll live long enough to see justice served. Aiden, you stay out of this. Unless you want to be dangling next to Damien when they finally hang him. Wait, hold up. Don't confuse yourself again, Damien. Just relax and shut up for now. Wait. He was just talking about killing people or something. What's going on here? And the kid just found out his brother died. He's in shock, babbling nonsense. You can cut the man some slack, will you? Have a heart. Fuck. Cliff's dead. No wonder he's all torn up. I get it now. My sympathies, Damien. You can talk to me whenever you want. Hey, 
Damien? Aiden. Hey. Now, how you holding up? No plans for flying lessons from any nearby tower anytime soon. Good to hear that. I get up each day and try to make it through. So far, I'm succeeding. I never thanked you. You've saved my life. Still not entirely sure I deserve it, but thank you, Payton. Nothing changes in this world. Some people are on top, and others are at the bottom. Such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl.